Hey, what's happening, Roland? Well, today is Friday. Yep. And today is time for the Friday update, talking all about what's happened this week. But today it's a special day because uh, because now we're with Donna, Donna Jeff. Yeah. And uh, Donna is actually the camera woman for today's deal, and Jeff is the electronics expert. Now, let me, he sets up his electronics. You're doing forward-facing sonar. You're the best in the world. You teach people how to do it, and you're teaching me, and you're showing me how how you find efficient. So basically, real quick, what's forward-facing sonar? Just real quick. It's the, the the thing right now. Everybody, you're either looking or you're not. Okay, and everybody's winning these tournaments now and catching fish by using this forward face. And our Mega Live is amazing. Look how clear that now, is. I, mean, I have a unit, but listen, here's the deal about Jeff's deal. This is a deal with the Hummingbird paired up with the Minn Kota trolling motor, with the Ultra X trolling motor. We're and sitting here right now, and I can move my boat anywhere so, I want to go. It's the only unit in the whole world that does it. He can take his depth finder and put the cursor where he wants to go on the map of the, of the depth finder, and the trolling motor goes there. So he could have a waypoint where there's fish that he maybe caught yesterday, and he takes the thing and puts right there, and boom, we're right over the spot. Don't Same place. Have, don't even have to get out of the seat. And right now, if you'll come back, Donna, I'm going to show you some fish right now. Okay. If you'll okay. come back around and okay, zoom in on this, and we've got the spot lock hit on our Minn Kota, and I've got my forward facing, facing right back here on a, see this high, hydrilla? It's just barely growing off the bottom, but you've got fish working that hydrilla right here. And what we're going to do is, there's a fish right there. Oh, that's a big fish. So, yeah, that's, yeah, a, that's a good one right there. That's a good one. We could drop right down. And yeah. once you show them, once you try see to catch them moving. Just, just try to catch them. I want to show the camera Donna, first of all. She's the champion fisherman today. <laughs> She's already caught the big fish of the day. Big old four or five pounder. And we're going to probably catch more. But Donna and Jeff, they, they fish down here all the time. So you're, you're quite a fisher woman, by the way. You're quite a camera woman. <laughs> hey, okay, so Jeff. Now watch, Roland. I'm going to show them how we can maneuver the boat. Okay. We've got it on spot lock, so we're both back here. Yeah. And let's say I want to move three feet up and yeah. position the boat. I'll hit yeah. plus plus. I see the trolling and motor now moving the now. Trolling the trolling motor is moving us right up there. It's moving. Look at look at the bank. It's moving. It's moving so on now, the bank. I can hit exit. Now I've positioned a little bit further up here. The fish are 30 feet out. See these oh, clips? Yeah. I see that. So what we're going to do here in just a second, we're going to throw a drop shot worm out there on eight pound string. Ooh. And we had 2711 the day before yesterday. Drop shot rolling on eight pound line at Headwaters Lake. Well, What's going on? <laughs> I tell you what I'm doing. I'm doing a film with Jeff, and if it's a good enough film, we're gonna, you know, it'll be on national television. But for, for sure. sure, it'll be on on YouTube, and this will be on YouTube as well. So it's kind of a little primer. But uh, if you would, Jeff, just show us real quick uh, the combination of rods that you got. You got, you got a hand rod. Me right that, hand me your white. Okay. okay, this white one right here. Okay. Now what Jeff's doing? He's doing a drop shot, and I'm gonna show the camera what that is. It's a quarter ounce weight. This is a, what, 12 pound? Is this 12 pound? This is eight pound. Eight pound. That's okay. all I brought with. And that is a little, what is that worm? That's the Berkeley Max Sin. And it's okay. a flat worm. That's a little flat worm. Everybody's drop shotting up in the Show Great Lakes. the barrel swivel. swivel. Okay, the barrel swivel. We and that keeps everything kind, above it. Kind, of, kind of switching around. And he'll drop that down. Okay, drop it down, Jeff. And and then, I know where my turret is pointing. So we've got a right height turret. No, I'm gonna pitch it right there. And he's we'll actually looking now on the depth the finder and seeing the fish that we saw, and he's throwing throwing the bait to the fish, and he can actually see if well how might not be able to do it right now. But when he's, we're all set up to do this, he can see the fish come and eat the bait. That's not so. Yeah, it's in that grass. Five minutes. But I tell you what, is it not been beautiful in South oh, Florida? No, I don't. I tell you, Jeff. Now, also, we did the same thing with other equipment with forward facing soda yeah. on, on chatter uh, on uh, Ch uh, Chickamauga. Ch Chickamauga. Yeah. And I made a whole TV show with it. Yeah. And you were, uh, we caught bass. We caught some pretty you good had a nine pounder then. I had a big That was your birthday. Bass. That was a three big, years ago when you were 55. Jeff, yeah, Jeff put us on. Oh, look, there's fish on the deck. But the whole point is, it's a revolution now. It's revolutionary, the forward-facing sonar. Now, I'm a power fisherman, 
and I'm used to throwing the lily pads and and, 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 and the, using a big flipping stick and all that, and that's still a viable thing. You can still win tournaments that way. Sure. But half the tournaments right now are being won this way. Oh, by They're being by, by the young kids and particularly the video gamer kind of kids out of high school and college. Here's the deal. If you, don't, if you don't learn this technology, you're getting passed. You're going to get passed up. And everybody else. And the fun th the thing I like about it, I would rather train somebody that's a weekend fisherman and not necessarily a pro. Because the pros get to fish every day. You get to fish 300 days a year. But the guys that just get the weekend out, they go, well, I don't need all that equipment. I said it'll make your eight hours of fishing a week a lot better. Now, folks, if you want the best instruction that's available in the world today, Jeff, Jeff Reed here can 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 put you on 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 the best on the best instruction. And I make ever. it simple. It's but, not. I take I take all the button pushing out of it. I like to hit a couple buttons and it work and make it very simple. How can they get a hold of you? Uh, they can reach me at my cell phone number. At, Six three five two four five nine. Okay. And very easy. The best way they could do it is text me. Okay. And you know, I'm like you. Our phones blow up. Well, well not only not only do you teach people, but you also install all this equipment. You're I do. I do, I do some He does the whole thing. You bring a boat to Jeff. He'll put you all the units on there. He'll train you. It'll just be the most fantastic yeah. thing in the world. And unless you do that, you just can't compete on today's uh, market no. with the, with the, with the uh, no, not four not, fish. not in this game. It's a different world. Now there's a couple other guys that do a good job, but we we consider your 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 expertise the best. Rolling. He's the best ever. <laughs> well, I've been I've been doing it too long, Roland. <laughs> that's what's happening today. And Jeff Jeff and I are going to continue, and Don and I are going to continue to catch fish. But for right now, I want to tell them about the rest of the week. I'm uh, some people sure. Ahead. Let's do it. The last couple of days. Well. The last couple of days, I had a I had a, a group of uh, people from actually they were from Texas, and uh, they wanted a shiner fish. But first of all, before we did that, the guy said, "Well, I want to take a uh, I wanted to take a, a top order room. We took this Pro Pop 80, and we did the most fantastic film work, and I didn't expect it happened. And Linda, who we fished with, the wife, took this plug. And at one point, this was just two days ago, she took this Pro Pop 80 and she'd throw it out over a hole like this and just throw it out not too far, about that, as far as that, not even that far. And she was working it real slow and there just happened to be a ditch there and there was a school of fish in there. And so seven, I got her seven or eight casts right in a row where she's catching bass from the two to five pound class. And she catches several just blowing up on the, on the plug just that close to the boat. Anyway, we, get, we did a fantastic show. On that particular day, she caught 25 bass. You got one, Jeff? Nope, not yet. She caught 25 bass on this plug, which is incredible. And she, not uh, she's an accomplished fisherman, but not a pro fisherman by any means. Well, the other thing we did was we took shiners. And one of the things that I'm doing now that's so, so good, because we're in a deep hole right here, and Jeff's shown us uh, with, the, with the spot lock and with the forward facing sonar that there's a deep drop off. Some of these holes and ditches here at Headwaters Lake, 10, 15, 20 feet deep, we're taking shiners, regular golden shiners, about seven or eight inches long, and putting on a free line and just throwing them out there kind of like a, a plastic worm, you know. And we're just reeling them along and letting them sit on the bottom and move a little bit. But we're catching a tremendous amount of fish. So, so the last two days with Linda and her uh, and Tony, the, his uh, her, her her husband, Tony caught a couple over six, and she caught her biggest fish was of almost six pounds. And we just had a great time. They just had a, had a super day. And then the day before that, a couple days before those two days, we had another group of, of people from. Uh, actually of uh, Salt Lake City, Utah, and they never caught bass over five pounds, so they both got their personal bass. So this week, of what I feel so good about is that uh, I've had three different parties out, and, and out of the six people I fished with, five of them got their personal bass. Now these weren't giant fish, these weren't 10 pound bass, they were mainly five, six, seven pound bass, but still, it was their personal bass, and it was a big deal. Donna, how much time is there on the camera? 9.44. No, oh, that's good. I'm not well, that's just about right amount of time. I just wanted to kind of update you for the week. Uh, I do have my new airboat now. I'm, I'm airboat certified. And just this week, I went to a certification course.
very intensive three-day course. And now I'm certified by the state of Florida to run my airboat. And there's some places to go here in the St. John's Marsh. This is just one of about five or six lakes that are available. And the airboats, now that the water's so low, we can go to Keenansville. We can go to Three Forks. We can go to some of these other great lakes that are all part of this whole big marsh area. And they're inaccessible right now in this low water because of because of low water. You can't take a boat like this in the, in the Three Forks. No, you, can't, you just can't do it. But I can take my airboat in there. And so I'm all set up for that. I got that all ready to go. And that's going to be on the agenda for June, July, August, and September. The other thing that I just want to keep mentioning is that Florida, being so close to the Atlantic Ocean, has a favorable sea breeze. And if the breeze is only 80, 85 degrees for a day. And it's pretty much a summer day today. But even in July and August, with the breeze like we have, a northeast wind like we have, it's not so bad. Very comfortable. Yeah, Very we've comfortable. Been comfortable all day. And so it's people think well Oklahoma uh, it, that Florida is hot in the summer. It is it is actually cooler than when I lived in Oklahoma, than when I lived in Montgomery, Alabama, than when I lived in in uh, 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 all these different places, Maryland. It was warm, it was hotter then. So actually Florida is actually cool. It is. And there's plenty of good fishing to be had. And we're gonna really catch them really good uh, this summer on the airboat. That's just one thing. So that's what's happening. A lot uh, headwaters is alive and well. We've already caught a dozen fish today, and Donna's caught a, already caught a big one. So we're gonna have to get ready and do some more film work. But that's what's happening in my world. And please subscribe. I have, I have O'Reilly, I have I have Bass Pro Shop, they just love it when you hit the like button. Just hit the like button and they just go crazy. Everybody does. And thank you, Jeff, and thank you, Donna. And uh, we're going to continue with some good fishing. We'll see you again soon, and thanks for watching.